Okay. So that was Droid Beta was the one I was using. I think Legacy is the new one. And the uh, Ellis Droid Beta was giving me a code, an error code. But I've been using this for a long time and it always worked. So I'm just trying to find the firmware that works with the updates because they updated both of these apparently. But you don't want to update the OBD all the way because if you go too far, it won't work with the LS Droid. Confusing. Loading completed successfully. Well, that's good. So I went into the OBD link app application, and then I went to firmware updates in the settings. Settings. Firmware updates. And it showed one that I didn't want. 5.6.19 I didn't want that one so over here there's a more and I click on more and you can get older versions so I went to 4.5.2 I think 4.5.2 I had 4.5.1 so I'm just gonna go a little bit at a time uh, I think 4.5.2 is compatible with the new LS droid so I don't want to go all the way to the newest version because it's not compatible, I think. So this part is a little tricky. It took me a minute to figure it out. Hopefully my LS Droid will work again. Okay. So LS Droid Beta was the one I was using. I think Legacy is the new one, but I've been using this for a long time and it always worked. So I'm just trying to find the firmware that works with the updates. But you don't want to update the OBD all the way because if you go too far, it won't work with the LS Droid. Confusing. Okay then, Legacy Revision 1. So this is a new version of LS Droid, LS Droid Legacy. Right, and last time I clicked on right, it wouldn't let me. It says you need experience, which which is normal, see? I do have experience reading them, but this is a new app since 2.2 uh, was a beta version. So it doesn't recognize that I have, um, that I have experience, but I do. So I might have to read my computer first. I just put the 4.5.2 version on the OBD link. It says update, update later. I think I already did update it and that's where I got the legacy from, but I'm just gonna try the old version and see what happens. Right. See, I'm getting this ever since they did the update. But maybe they don't want us to use the old version, so maybe I'll try the new version. I'll have to do a read first. Freak sakes. This is experimental software. Okay. Hey, look at that, it's working. That's a bonus. So I'm in the legacy, LS Droid legacy. I click on the left corner and I go to read. 
I read the LSV8 PCM and then I go to the top right corner and I click my Bluetooth device and now I'm reading so that's good 11 minutes in my experience it doesn't take 11 minutes it only takes like maybe six minutes or something in my experience but we'll see took 10 minutes one second so I guess it really does take almost 11 minutes but Anyway, she read, and I cycled the ignition off for 15 seconds, and it looks like we're good. I don't know, I'll have to actually re-fire it, maybe? I'm not sure if it's just read it, or if it resets the PCM. I'm pretty sure it does reset the PCM, so that might be good for fuel trims. Sunset's kind of nice.